Hi, I'm Jack. Welcome to the Tree People Nursery here at Coldwater Canyon Park. Today I'm going to show you about some of the oaks that we're growing. We have three main species that we like to focus on because of how well they do in our environment. One of our favorite is the coast live oak here, or Quercus agrifolia. Um, you all know the Quercus lobata, or valley oak, because it's on our logo. And then one of my other favorites that's lesser known is the scrub oak, or Quercus berberidifolia. So here we have the coast live oak. This is one of the most important tree species in our area. And it is so for a number of reasons. One is the amount of carbon that it stores in the soil. Um, it's drought tolerant, fire resistant, gives us lots of shade, and provides the most habitat compared to many other tree species in our area. A lot of animals rely on the acorns that these drop, which are taste really good to them. And a lot of other insects and other animals like to eat the leaves and, and use the branches for habitat, like birds, um, sometimes you can even look up into a mature coast live oak and see a bobcat there, which is really cool. But this one is one of my favorite trees. We're growing hundreds of them here for our habitat restoration projects in the Santa Monica Mountains and uh, all throughout Los Angeles. Unlike the evergreen coast live oak, which gets to be fairly pokey, the next oak we're talking about is the valley oak, which is super soft leaves, and these are deciduous. It's another strategy for conserving water and energy. This one has really beautiful lobes that make this beautiful pattern that you see on our logo. And each year when it tends to be wintertime, they decide to drop their leaves to conserve that energy. Even though this is just a little buddy, I can already see the taproot coming at the bottom. And that's because this tree is going to be huge and it's planning for the future. It's planning to be able to find that water that's going to need to survive for hundreds of years and provide us with that. Um, you know, carbon sequestration, as well as the acorns. And finally, we have the scrub oak, or the Corcus berberidifolia. This is one of my favorite trees for a number of reasons. One is that it's super tough and drought tolerant, so it can go pretty much anywhere in Southern California. Another reason I really like it is that it doesn't get to be too tall. Of its cousins here, the scrub oak is the shortest. Usually they top out at around 10, maybe 12 feet tall. So it's really easy for me to get my scrub oak babies adopted to Angelinos and other Californians because it doesn't interfere with power lines and it doesn't have as much of an issue with um, messing with your plumbing and other infrastructure. The leaf adaptations are very similar to its cousin, the coast live oak. Unlike being cupped, it's a little wavier and it is also toothed. It also has some adaptations that are similar to uh, the valley oak because it does have some lobes as well, although these are what we would call more serrated than rounded. So it doesn't live quite as long as these two species, but a whole host of other wildlife depend on the, co the scrub oak for survival. And in that way, it's also an important part of our natural landscape. 